de quand datent les What problèmes Origin of uh, modern environmental problems, maybe late 60s, early 70s, because we mix them up with the beginning of political ecology. But no, they date back to the 19th century, approximately half of the 19th century, possibly the end of the first third of the century, when people became aware of the fact that human actions had an unforeseen impact on the environment. People became aware of this on both sides of the Atlantic, more or less at the same time. In the United States, the triggering factor came with the awareness of the impact of uh, massive deforestation. When the first European colons came to the United States, most of the continent was covered in forests. The end of the 19th century, only a few patches of green forests were left on the uh, United States map. So deforestation was the triggering factor for this awareness. As uh, an author said at the time, when a Yankee catches an axe, he is seized by uh, madness and he will cut just about everything. And people at the time became aware of this. And this is the beginning of ecology, conservationism and preservationism. People started thinking about preserving forests and reforest, plant new trees. President Roosevelt contributed massively to reforestation. Now, on the European side of the Atlantic, deforestation is a very old business. There was a peak. But uh, deforestation has started a long time uh, ago and even become a chronic problem. Now, what people became aware of and what they were struck by was the industrial development, the first sodium carbonate companies and the fact that their fumes uh, blackened everything in the environment, the close environment. And uh, Rousseau wrote when he was uh, wandering around the uh, Neuchâtel Lake and uh, found a stockings factory, his uh, walk was ruined because the factory ruined the landscape. It didn't stop there. People became aware progressively of the uh, size of the problem. And uh, as early as the middle of the 19th century, a French author, Eugène Huzard, wrote a book called The End of the World uh, Due to Science, anticipating the fact that maybe in a century or two, the human civilization might disappear due to uh, science and the uh, ecological cost of science. George Perkins Marsh in Man and Nature started drawing a list of the effect of human action on uh, forest uh, ecosystem, coastal ecosystems, and he measured the level of destruction and started asking questions regarding the long-term compatibility between our industrial civilization and what we nowadays call the biosphere and was uh, called at the day at the time nature and if we stand back a little we see that the 19th century was also characterized by the appearance of a new science that uh, Ernst Haeckel called ecology, a science studying the relationship between species and between the species and the environment. This was the uh, origin of new books and essays uh, we mentioned, people like Uzar, Marche, uh, Elisée Reclus, and many other people who wrote books and essays. So a lot of scientific work was conducted uh, to identify, explain, understand the destructive mechanisms uh, on the environment perpetrated by man. There were laws voted, uh, an artistic reservation was created uh, in Paris in Fontainebleau with the influence of painters and people like Victor Hugo who also contributed. In the United States, um, the uh, Yellowstone Park Yellowstone Park was created in 1872, and also in Europe there were social, social movements, organizations 
the objective of which was to defend and preserve nature. This is how the Société d'acclimatation uh, appeared in 1854, later to become the uh, Société Nationale de Protection de la Nature, the National Society for Protection of Nature. In 1892, in the United States, John Muir founded the Sierra Club, the uh, big uh, nature protection uh, NGO. So new laws, science, research, uh, scientific analysis, uh, legal provisions, something started uh, and it culminated before the First World War. Then there was the First World War, the uh, period between the two wars, uh, called that way because there were two wars and nobody forgot about the wars. There was uh, Rudolf Steiner uh, with the beginning of agrodynamics uh, and um, a new type of uh, agriculture. And uh, at the end of the Second World War, things uh, picked up uh, speed again. William Bogg, Fairfield Osborne, uh, Rachel Carson, they all wrote Book, books and uh, the problem of the environment came under the limelight again. And from then on, the whole movement gathered speed and kept gathering speed, leading to a huge quantity of scientific analysis, many books uh, and a whole arsenal of laws, and more recently the international community, which became mobilized on big environmental and ecological problems.